And then I've got to get on to the next task and I'll replace our exhaust hose. I just lifted up the floor, inspecting the rest of it. This one's blown off. So he's back in the engine bay this morning, replacing the exhaust pipe today. This is what we've decided to use. It's obviously worn away a lot there. I think it's nearly worn through there too. All right, camera's off. Let's get into it. The camera's never off, honey. I'm going to film everything you do today. Welcome to our life on the sea. We are an Australian family that fell in love with the ocean and living on a boat traveling. I'm Sarah and together with Lee and our two kids, Taj and Bella, we are documenting our travels as we sail the world one island at a time. This lifestyle is fun, adventurous, humbling and incredibly challenging, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to our channel to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Here we are, still in Jakarta, Indonesia, fixing up the old girl. Look a little exhausted today, my darling. I'm really tired. Um, we were told we had to move the boat today because the bigger boat needs to take our place and our boat motor was in parts, or our gearbox. So I think about 3.45 I hit the sack last night. I've got it all together. I filled it up this morning with oil and um, given it a little test run, forward reverse. It seems to be all working. So I don't know if we've damaged the gearbox because it dumped all of its oil, but it seems to run properly. It sounds okay. I, I suppose just a matter of time to see if it's uh, gonna be okay. And then I've got to get onto the next task and I replace our exhaust hose. I just lifted up the floor, inspecting the rest of it. This one's blown off. It's all single clip too. I'm going to double clip all this. The pipe shot. We've been putting salt water over this box, which is stainless, but I think I should be able to clean all that up. Yeah, we're going to have to replace that whole run. So, and I may even need to replace that elbow down the bottom. I'll see what the quality of it's like. But it's very rusty looking. So that's another day. Another day in Catalpa. So he's back in the engine bay this morning, replacing the exhaust pipe today. He's found that more of it's damaged than we thought, so I think he's pretty much going to replace the whole thing. Wear marks from the um, drive shaft, at some stage it was been touching on the drive shaft because it sits right next to it. And a little bit of patchwork just to get us out of trouble. I think what happened when we lost our water that, at the mixing elbow there, um, we must have just had hot exhaust and that was just uh, the last straw for it, I think. So this is the bottom of the exhaust. Oh, it's just like, like jelly. So it looks like, eh? It's all delaminated from that top and the inner layer. So it's just absolutely shot. Anyway, it's probably, who knows, could be the original one on the boat. We got a new one. That's all good. This is what we've decided to use. It's an oil discharge line. It's like rated to over 100 degrees and it's 250 PSI. The wall thickness is way greater than what was used originally in this boat, which I don't even know if that is exhaust line. Um, I know Vetus is one of the main exhaust lines people use and I compared their specs to this, and this actually exceeds their specs, so um, this is cheaper, not that it's a matter of price, but it's a matter of just resourcing stuff here in Indonesia, so this is all I've got for now. I think it's gonna do the job. Same material as Vita, thicker, way more pressure, 250 PSI, and heat resistant. It's the same as the Vita, so. I'm gonna use that. If I'm using the wrong thing, guys. Don't tell um, us. <laughs> Yeah, don't tell us. Because <laughs> it's going to be in already. <laughs> no, please tell us. We know you will. <laughs> yeah. Someone will know their pipes. <laughs> Someone will tell us. If you're wondering why I have all these glasses and gloves on, it's because I'm cleaning this thing. I don't know what it is. It's something. Um, I'm cleaning it with acid, and when it gets on you, it really burns. And if it gets in your eyes, it will make you blind. So... We've got these gloves on, got glasses. I'm trying not to get on the skin. Oh. Oh, bleeding. 
blood, sweat and tears going into this exhaust, I'll give you the hot tip. It's going into every bit of this boat. <laughs> I'll just put a bit of never seize on everything. It's every now and then after a service, I like to tighten up all these um, clips, even just like a quarter of a turn or something, just if keep everything tight, but um, you wouldn't think so lately, but uh, a little bit of uh, anti-seize on there and they'll always tighten up. Good news after days straight of Lee just being in the engine bay. <laughs> he thinks he's finally finished in here. He's got the new exhaust pipe, new filter. What else he done? Put the new filter on, run the new exhaust line through. Bella's cleaned up the water lock. All the stainless elbows, we acided them, get all the surface rust off, replaced all the clips, double clipped everything. Got the uh, gearbox back together. Got the gearbox back together, run it, seems to be working, we won't know until we put a few hours on it. Um, doesn't appear to be leaking anywhere. Just got to go from our bedroom right out with the rest of the exhaust system just to replace all the hoses that aren't broken but they'll be pretty close to being worn out so over another day we'll be uh we'll be mobile again okay guys so today we're in the aft cabin which is mine and lee's bedroom under the bed because yesterday he replaced the exhaust hose which is really dark and you can't see down there. Goes from there to our engine bay, so that's the exhaust pipe and he's gone that way. Today he's going this way, so he's gonna put it from there under our bed. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> right, well, that didn't last long. What are we doing? We are replacing this hose. Obviously worn away a lot there. I think it's nearly worn through there too. Got a join there, which makes it easy for me. Have you got a light? The people can't see. Hey, Belly, can you pass me that light? Pass them. Here we go. Looks a bit dodgy. All right, so we can see now. Run our line up under here. I'll probably sit that on a bit of a cradle because that's been rubbing there. It wouldn't surprise me if that's, oh, that's rubbed through. Cracked, I think on this side. There's a pipe under there. The exhaust pipe runs from down here all the way up here behind this sexy piece of work that if you remember the captain built back in an episode we'll put it up in the corner if you want to go it's back and have a look the strongest thing on this boat maybe the thing that lasts the longest yeah. <laughs> so if you want to do a diy on your own steering mechanics then uh, go check out the video that is in the corner there is a link check it out back to it we're going to replace this pipe today. Oh, right. And it's under all the steering. That's probably going to be the hardest one. Oh, no, it comes back up there, does a loop, and comes back to there. Okay. Oh, it's annoying that you can't see what he's looking at, isn't it? It's not going to be pretty. There it is. Right there. Nice, easy spot to get into. I'll leave that one for Sarah. <laughs> You do it from this way? You know when 90% of your exhaust system will get put back together? <laughs> That's probably why. When it's in a tight spot like that. That hose looks good, doesn't it? It's amazing. Let's see how it goes. Anyone buys Catalpa from us, you know that that corner, the back, the back uh, starboard side, needs some work. <laughs> the rest of the boat's great, but that back starboard side. <laughs> Alright, camera's off. Let's get into it. The camera's never off, honey. I'm going to film everything you do today. I really got to order one of these. Apparently, with these uh, water makers, these it gets the slightest vibration from the pump. And I've spoken to so many people that have had these go, and it's the high pressure line to the membranes. They only just need to rub on one little thing. That's why I've zip tied everything as much as possible. With the slightest bit of rubbing, and uh, yeah, you're out of action for a water maker. So I'm going to order one of these as a spare. You can see it's been rubbing on something there. See all the all the black coming off there and it's just always hard because it's a high pressure swage fitting and you're in the middle of nowhere they're really hard to replace so um, I'm gonna look at this it's half broken spot of rust and that's that's already broken there not long after that'll break I found it's really hard to get these in quality in Asia I know in Australia these last forever, but whatever um, brand in Australia, they're definitely a lot stronger. Some of the ones I've had in Asia only seem to last a year and then they're like, they've fallen apart. 316304, I don't know, whatever they use. If you can see here, look at that. That's so crap. That was um, in the bedroom. Let's just wait in the break. That was just about ready to roll, go. 
Lee got all the new pipes in and started the engine for a test run, but we could hear a leak. So back into town to find a welder. All right, guys, there's a little plate. There was a seam down here and uh, it's very corroded. So we've plated that back up and uh, underneath there's a few little pinholes we found. There we have it. Exhaust manifold's going back in. This is all our food storage. <laughs> Look at that. Went shopping. That used to be the old battery locker, hey? So good, we've got so much space. And we stocked up in Linkawi, which is over four months ago. And we did pretty well, actually. We, we just ran out of fresh food and um, our supplies that we bought have lasted you know, probably nearly four months. Other than flour, flour and fresh food is what we got uh, while we're in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> Only allowed to go to the, well, we didn't go anywhere, but someone got us fresh fruit and veggies. But yes, we have been in Jakarta, stocking the boat again, restocking the boat again. Having a success. So we've been up this morning, we woke up to some jerking and pulling. <laughs> and uh, there's some waves breaking on the outside of the marina. The marine is about to fall apart by the yeah. look of it, or the feel of it, but we've just uh, readjusted the lines on Catalpa to make sure that she doesn't go anywhere. And um, that is our morning. It's rough. Waves coming in over here across the brake wall. Uh, that one before was lifting up. And yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty old. I don't think we should leave the boat today. This marina has seen better days. I feel like this jetty is going to fall apart. <laughs> Lee's just inspecting. <laughs> he doesn't think that they're going to last uh, very long. <laughs> a couple of, it, looks, it looks real good. It looks a little bit rusty. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've seen better days, that one. Yeah. Yeah, nice to be right, mate. Oh, I feel like I'm drunk. <laughs> we seem to be kind of a little bit protected more than everyone else. There's a bit over there that looks like it's sinking. We just had to move the boat forward. The weather was crazy, big swells and strong winds, which meant some boats that were outside the marina were coming in to tie up to a dock. Apparently, they get this weather maybe one or two days a year. big boat got in fine they did a pretty good job now there's a sailing boat coming in that's going behind us there is not much room i would not like to be here right now would you it's a hectic day, it's a hectic day here at batavia marina there is waves crashing over the wall so you still calm down a little bit in here do you think yeah. The guys on the dock to help. Yeah, there is. Here he comes, heading straight for us. He's doing a very good job. You, you might need some help. Are you going to assist? Oh, 
Oh, it seems to have nailed it. Oh, there's a lot of help. Lots of help on the dock, that's good. It's coming beautifully. He's probably happy to be in here, even though he's gonna get thrown around a bit. It's still a little rough out there. Still rough. He's got lots of help though. He's got lots of help, but you've got to worry. Look at his face. There's about nine dudes on the dock. The dock, mind you, is not real still. Oh, I'm a bit worried with like half of it's broken, a big pin's broken out of one of the platforms, and I don't know if it's like a dominoes effect. Once it starts to go, it goes. Um, yeah, definitely concerned about the dock holding together. It's so old and so fragile, and it's just hard to even um, be against. It's all this rusted steel hanging out the side. A few days later, the weather eased and boats started to leave the marina. With calmer weather setting in and our boat back together, we provisioned up and started the process of official office visits. We're in quarantine and uh, we're leaving Jakarta tomorrow, so we're just doing our final offices and then we should be good to go. We're up first, Captain. <laughs> Pregnant. <laughs> now we're just waiting. Uh, it all looks good though. Lee was the biggest wuss. <laughs> so Bella has made a angry man out of her. I tried to make a smiley face, but I ran out of the water. It's very creative, baby. <laughs> After no positive COVID tests and visiting the Harbour Master, it was now time to leave Jakarta. Alright guys, so we are leaving the marina, we're leaving Jakarta today. Um, we've been here for two weeks. We had the last week of weather was terrible so we couldn't actually leave. Um, the harbour master wouldn't let us leave, but we weren't ready anyway. We had a few things to do and we are leaving today. We were hoping that we were going to head back up to the Mentawai Islands, which that, that was the plan. Um, but the season has kicked in now and the wind's it's not looking great. We'd be punching into it. Um, going back up there so I had to change our plans and we're now going east and we're heading towards Bali and Geelan hopefully get some waves that way but yeah we're a bit bummed we really wanted to go back up to the Mentawais but it's how it goes you live on a boat you gotta go with the wind and uh, the wind is pushing us east so that's where we'll head all right we're gonna untie the lines we got everything here at least to stay alive Fingers crossed. 
across, it's all good. It's getting near Christmas time, so we don't need any dramas at Chrissy's. We just want to have a good time. You look mighty fine, get a haircut. Oh, you know, short back and sides. No hairy neck anymore. Sarah style. Uh, and the kids have been, uh, had their last little treat before they leave the city. Waffles, Bella. When it all breaks down, I'll wait for you right here. Ready for adventure time? Yeah. Yeah.